Hi everyone, this is the Math 30-1 uh, Functions Review. This is uh, multiple choice question number one. What we're taking a look at here is uh, this partial graph here. The question says the partial graph of a third degree polynomial function in the form, okay, and we're given this equation over here, ax cubed plus bx plus c cubed. So just the, the, the general form with all the parameters in there. So now, the question is, which statement about the values of a and d is correct? Okay, well let's take a quick look here. Now, notice that a and d, let's just kind of zoom in on this. a is our leading coefficient and d is our trailing constant, if you will. Now, a is going to affect direction, okay, and d is going to affect position, vertical placement, if you will, okay. So let's take a quick look at the graph. Let me zoom out just a little bit so we can see it here. Okay, so we've got a cubic function here and it is dropping. Okay, it's going down here. So that tells me right away that the a value has to be less than zero. Okay, it's, a, it's an odd degree term. Okay, it's a cubic. And again, the motion, it starts in quadrant two, ends in quadrant four. That's its end behavior, it's going down. A's gotta be negative. Now, the d value here is its vertical position. Now, if you wanna think of it in another way here, what that means is it's going to be, if you let x equals zero here, all of those terms disappear and you're left with d. So d corresponds to the, the y-intercept. And so our y-intercept up here is, is six. So we're gonna, we can say that d is positive because the question is really asking whether these things are positive or negative. So a has got to be negative, d has got to be positive. So it's gotta be one of these two, it's gotta be c. Negative a, positive d, that's the one we're looking for.